again, Doug here, and yet another fountain pen video. Uh, this time I'm brave enough to try to disassemble my Pen BBS 456 vacuum filler and uh, clean it out and uh, get it ready for a different color of ink. Let's see whether I can handle this chore or not. First we're going to take the ink out. Then I'm going to rinse it as best I can with my little bulb. I'm going to use my syringe as well. There. You get some ink still in behind, but that'll come out when I apply the pliers. And my little wrench. And take this part apart. Yeah, disassemble the nib section. Here we go. Just gonna drop that into the water there for a second, and I'm going to inject some water through the, the section with my syringe. Now I can take this bit apart if I want to. We'll see how clean I can get it. Not too bad. I think I will pull that. Make sure I don't lose my O rings there. There we go. It always comes out with a sudden stroke. Are you sure my O-ring is still there? Now for the tricky bit. There's a little flat spot right there. That you can put your wrench on. And just give it a little bit of a turn. And you can do the rest by hand. That whole section comes out and can be rinsed. And it leaves me with the barrel. And it is looking pretty clean. couple of silicone rings there. Be careful to make sure not they don't get removed. And there's our piston. That seems to be fairly clean now. So here are all our parts. 
sometimes to get it absolutely dry I'll use a little bit of this uh, dust off and just spray inside I don't think that comes off no I wouldn't want it to come off anyway there everything's nice and dry and ready for reassembly now to put this back together again I'll start with the nib and feed the nice thing about the pen BBS is that the nib slides on the feed and there's a little stop right there that sort of lines it up with others you have to get the back of that feed just at the shoulders of the nib but this one tells you where it needs to go and then all I have to do is give it a little bit of a push these are very fragile so I always put a little bit of rubber matting and push on the shoulders here like that until it doesn't go in anymore and then just check to make sure that it's lined up properly and that the o-rings are in place there we go and that's the nib and feed together and of course we are missing a piece over here that's in the water still there rinse that off this is the part that gets coloration on the threads and on the inside of the section so in this case if I was changing colors I would probably drop this in a little bit of water with a bit of bleach and let it sit for a few minutes and that will fade that coloration so anything that's got a little bit of color to it and that section that nib assembly looks pretty good but this still has a bit of blue on it so I'm going to put this in some water with a little bit of bleach and we'll come back in a minute and see how it looks et voila perfectly clean section that took I put uh, about a quarter of a cup of water and about uh, an eighth of a cup of well gee even less than that probably a sixteenth of a cup of bleach into the water just swirled it around let it sit for about five minutes and then dried it off and even got the ink off my fingers perfectly clean now this just screws back together make sure it's lined up make sure that o-ring is in place and that tightness right there is what keeps the ink from getting into this bit here and that's what had happened before that's why I'm cleaning this out back together again before I fill this with ink I'm going to add some silicone grease to those threads and we're going to grease up this piston as well a little bit of silicone grease just a drop there we go protect my 
nib. And just tighten it ever so slightly. There, just so it's snug. And then we should be able to operate that mechanism. And back together again and clean. Now to fill it up with some ink. So now before I fill it up, I'm going to just open this section and put a little bit of silicone grease right on this ring. We can get it up into the threads just a bit. all ready to go so i just got this ink the other day this is the sapphire blue from diamine so i'm going to give this a try we're going to dip this all the way in we're going to push the plunger down we get bubbles in the ink and then we click down and it fills so we're going to go back and do it again better fill this time. And there we go. Let that drain down into the nib and then we'll give it a try. Thank you for watching, and that's all she wrote.